Hey everyone, it's Wendy from Wendelonia, and today I'm coming at you with a traveler's notebook video. Just going to walk you through a layout I made earlier today and show you how it came together. So I'm using photos that I took when I did a bento workshop at our local library. I taught people how to make bento boxes and uh, I didn't have very great pictures from this event. I didn't think to take any photos while I was there. I did a couple of uh, Instagram stories, so I took screenshots of those and downloaded them. And then I, um, I also took a picture of the sign when it was over, when I remembered that I should have taken some photos. But it was a really exciting day for me, um, evening, event, whatever. It's the first time I've ever done a class like that, and I hope I can do some more in the future. So, Today I'm going to be using the Studio Calico Stay Tuned Traveler's Notebook Kit. Pretty much everything I use today is from this kit. Um, everything matches and it's coordinated and I really liked it all so um, that's what I did. So you can see me here flipping through the notebook itself trying to figure out which page I'm going to use. And I love the papers in this because it's so bright and cheerful. And it took me a little bit to kind of decide which one I was going to use. I thought for a minute I was going to use this yellow one because then I could use all three photos. But I ended up going back over to that green Nailed It page. And um, I liked it because the Nailed It was good because um, I was really nervous about this class and I had a lot of stress about it in the days leading up to it, but it turned out it went great and I nailed it. So the, I thought that was a good message to kind of emphasize in this layout. Once I decided on the page and which photos I was going to use, I needed to kind of get a strategy together for what I was going to do on this page. So you can see me sorting through all the stickers and stamps and stuff in this kit. And I ended up settling on these strips. Some of them have words on them and I used a few with the words on them, but mostly I just went for the ones that were solid colors and patterns. And I just lined them up trying to do some variety, not have too many colors too close together. And I put them along the right side of that grid paper page. I trimmed them as I went and then um, I could use, because I trimmed them, then I had the other side that I cut off that I could also use. So it kind of almost doubled the number of these strips that I could use on my page which was very nice. I was really pleased with myself because I used almost an entire sheet of these and I have a tendency to hoard my supplies, which is ridiculous because I hoard all of my supplies and I keep buying them. So I have a lot of scrapbook supplies. So a few years ago, I finally just came to the conclusion that using an entire sheet of stickers was just fine and that would actually be an excellent goal to do instead of holding on to them. The other thing is I have two sheets of these stickers. So I dug into that one a little bit, the second one a little bit also, but mostly I just used uh, the ones from the first sheet. Now you can kind of see me um, trimming and I'll be rearranging as we go along here too. Um, in the end, I was trying to trim them neatly with my scissors as I went along, and I uh, didn't do a very good job of that. So I ended up uh, just trimming this whole side of the page when I was done putting the stickers on. Okay, so this takes a while, so I'm going to speed it up and put on a little music so it'll go a little bit faster.
All right, now that I've got that right edge nice and tidy, it's time to deal with the photos. So you can see I kind of mess around with the photo placement a little bit. And what I realized I didn't like, I think the thing I was having the most trouble with was some of those little stickers along the edge were quite short and I ended up trapping some white space in this so that I didn't like how it looked. So I kept trying to mess around with mats and stuff and finally I realized I should just take those off and replace them with longer strips so that my photo didn't have any little blank spaces between the tape and the photo, like the stickers, not tape. It looks like tape. Then once I got that done, I liked it better, but I also decided it needed some kind of mat. So again, I kind of messed around with the mat for a little bit until I got it the way I liked it. Alrighty, so now it's time to add some journaling. I ended up using one of these big red tags and I kind of hung it off the edge and trim, trimmed the side off of it. And I moved that sticker that I had put in there and I put it on the top of the journaling tag, the sticker tag there. And then I just added a little bit of information about how I was nervous, but then I was happy with how it went and how people laughed at my jokes and uh, there were a lot of people there but not too many people there and just in general that it was uh, a fun time. Finally I decided it needed something extra and I added some of those little blue stars. Um, in general I wasn't thrilled with how those came out but I didn't hate them either so I just left them and I called my layout done. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you really like this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks.